Hey, what's up, guys? Hype the Gamer here, back with another video. This is take 500 trillion. Okay? I made a great, amazing video, and the audio didn't record, and then I did it again, and the audio didn't record. Or no, the video didn't record, and I just tried it again, and I'm slowly becoming more depressed as I try this. This is the final attempt. You may never see this video. Hey! God. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she may draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more and frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Uh, uh, I overslept again. No, but I caught up, but I caught you this time. Maybe only because I decided to stop and wait for you. And you said that like you were thinking about annoying me. Uh, that's me, Donovan. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine, stupid boy. But did you wait? But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if you want to. Huh. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> <clears throat> Girl noises. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the streets, become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily canoe. Oh, by the way, Donna Barnett, stupid bitch. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told... Girl vo boy voice. I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I, have been, I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me that you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Is this recording? Thank God it is. I'm sure that... Okay, we read this already. So he likes to worry way too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh, uh, I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before like college and stuff your happiness is really important to me you know and i know you're happy now but i die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not interested in the real world you're not used to the real world you trust me right because i'm a girl and i'm pretty don't make me keep worrying about you <clears throat> all right all right I look at a few clubs. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. We're hurrying up. We want to finish as much as we can. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! <sighs> Why do I let myself get lectured by like such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if it does exaggerate. Even though, even though, even even if she exaggerates everything inside of her head. Finally, we're here. We can now act like we have never been here before. <clears throat> the school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack my thi after I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs, gosh, dang it! Sorry, wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Yeah. Uh, hello. Sorry, what are you doing? Sorry, must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed, you stupid bitch. You don't even need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. 
Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so, you know. <laughs> know what? Well, that you just, you, that, well, that you could join my club, of course. Say it right. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie, stupid boy. Sayori's vo is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of president. I mean, the vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club right behind you. Uh, come on, please. I'm pretty. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, <coughs> I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Yeah, and Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. So, <laughs> don't make promises you can't keep. Free food, what? I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay, let's go! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Doki Doki Literature Club. Speed run. <clears throat> I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Welcome to our club. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you. This is Don Vaughn. Slow down. <clears throat> I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure. Wait. <clears throat> Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought up boy? A bing bong chong chong ching ching? <clears throat> Seriously, Becky? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere? Ah, oh, Donovan, what a nice surprise! Welcome to the club! One of us, one of I mean, all words escape me in this situation. This club. It's full of incredibly cute girls! Oh my god! What are you looking at? <laughs> Nothing, you don't have any boo. If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. <sighs> Natsuki. Humph. The girl with the sour attitudes, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her. She gets moody. Fucking Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyways, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't, don't, don't say things like that. Oh my god. Um, uh, uh. Yuri, who appears to comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Monica! Is that right? That's right, Mother Chica. <laughs> it's great to see you again, Donovan. Oh, Monica smiles sweetly. <sighs> Fake smiles are so amazing. We do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. The perfect specimen. Basically, completely out of my league. So having a smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Oh, this is Don Vaughn. Uh, you too, Monica. <laughs> 
and sit down down where we made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me on oh, the go. I'll get the cupcakes, yeah. <clears throat> I'll get the cupcakes. Hey! I made them! I'll get them! Damn it! You know what? I'm just gonna talk normally. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Might as well. The girls have a few desks arranged from a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is no space next to Monica. One space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk all over to the corner. Oh, Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay! Girl voice. Ta-da! 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 Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like a little cat. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate. <gasps> so cute! My voice is killing me. I tried this so many times. I had it perfectly, but it didn't record. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuke. Natsuke. <laughs> well, you know, swag. Just hurry up and take one, damn it. Sarah grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It is oishi, if you didn't know. That means delicious in Japanese. Oishi. Oishi. <laughs> oh, my fuck. Cringe. Cringe. Help me. Save me from this disease known as cringe. Sarah talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Does he like it? Donovan Shinpa, does he like it? I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. De Donovan! Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I haven't heard this from someone. Made them for you or anything. Stupid boy. Eh, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. <gasps> Well, maybe, but not for you, you know, you dummy. All right, all right, shut the f up. I give up on the Siki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole set of tea in this classroom? Ugh, don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot, cu hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <coughs> eh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. Oh my god. I meant that, you know. I believe you. I believe, I believe. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. <gasps> you do? You like tea? I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? I saw my knee. Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I, I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... Uh, that's okay, don't be embarrassed. Well, 
well, we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it is my duty to to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club, Mother Trucker? You probably, you could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah, uh, well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels nothing like arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare events for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. <coughs> Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Yes. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. Yes, it is long and hard. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all of the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Ooh, okay. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. <coughs> My voice. <coughs> I'm confident, confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! Yeah! <coughs> we'll do our best. You know it. Mother Trucker! Everyone enthusiastically agrees! Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why we're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm, enthusiasm about literature. So, Donovan, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I murder quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Oh my god, here is manga, I love him. <laughs> It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. You filthy, disgusting peasant! Not really much of a reader, I guess. You filthy, disgusting peasant! <gasps> Incompetent fool! I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup. Wait, wait. Shh. Okay. My favorites are usually novels that build up deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such foreign in a and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Like you began to... Um, <clears throat> stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. 
Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really, I wouldn't be expected. I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I can, can't really put it down. <laughs> Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Ugh, watch that. Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. <laughs> Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you? Bitch! <gasps> what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back. Fine, fine. Eh, your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, do you write your own poems? <coughs> uh, eh, well, I guess sometimes, you know. Why, do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet, are you? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them even the deepest wretches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, mother truckers. I have an idea, everyone. What is it? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Huh? Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Donovan? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Batch. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I'll bluntly come forth and say what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Anime for life. Surrey might have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at. Um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare at me with dejected eyes. But, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. Stupid boy. Don Donovan, what have, you, what have you done? What have you done, Donovan? You all, 
I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear edit decision when it's like this? That's if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Woohoo! One by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Yes, bitch, I'm so happy. Sarah wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then it makes it official. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone, kill yourselves. Ah, I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember, tonight's assignment is to write a poem to print for today's meeting so we can all share. <coughs> Monica looks over at me once more. Donovan, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills? Next time on Dragon Ball Z, I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Donovan, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Well, with the two of us... Well, with that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. Finally! The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Yes, the ultimate plan. <laughs> I get a girlfriend, finally, finally. <clears throat> I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen. Yo, hey, who we'll likes your poem the most? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Natsuki! Honestly, she's the cutest one. We want Natsuki, okay? So we're gonna go with cute. Determination? Cute. Determination. Together. Unstable. Together, happiness. I don't know how to write a poem, by the way. <laughs> cute, unstable. I mean, cute. Together, unstable. Together, raindrops. Together, happiness. Together, pain. I don't know what that means. Heartbeat. Together, heart. Raindrops. That rhymes. Raindrops. Insight. Whistle. Raindrops. Uncontrollable. Treasure, alone, fatality, memories, email, uncontrollable, empty, electricity, wonderful, party, laugh, analyst, blanket, disoriented, vibrant, rainbow, I don't know, excitement, anxiety, romance, Special Entropy Entrop What? Entrop Whatever Cry Hurt Heart 
heart. Jo Wait a minute! They've been reacting to what I've been picking. When I push Giggle, not suit anything that's cute, not Suki freaking jumps up. Strawberry. See that? Okay, and if I pick sadness, she's gonna freaking like jump up. Intellectual. She's intellectual. Dream. Okay, she has a dream. Masuki is a marshmallow. Hi again, Donovan. Glad to see you. You didn't run away on us. Ha <laughs> ha. Nah. Don't worry. Donovan. Donovan's voice. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I kept, I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. <sighs> I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Donovan. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Um, making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Skip it, Patch. Sarah told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuka, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps manga, her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys! Donovan always gives it his best. As long as he's having fun, he helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning in my room. How dependable. That's a man. That's what you call a man. Sayori, that's because your room is messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire. Uh, is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come you and Donovan become good friends? Wait, how come you and Donovan can become good friends too? Um, Sayori! Hmm. As usually, Sayori seems oblivious to the entire situation she just puts me into. She just put me into. Oh. Oh! Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori! Not Emmy? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Uh, never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess it means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place, so any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. I'll make it It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a... I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. <clears throat> And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. The, this is... How is this girl accidentally being cute? So cute. She even picked out a book. She thinks I'll like it. Despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think 
Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are 